Okay, not one hour after I just uploaded a teaser video talking about the possibility of this happening, now the official announcement is out from the Beatles camp that, yes, indeed, we are going to see Let It Be meticulously restored by Peter Jackson and his team uh, with assistance from the original director of the 1970 film, Michael Lindsay Hogg. It's going to be on Disney Plus aired May the 8th, so we don't even have a month to wait. In less than a month, May 8th of 2024, Let It Be finally is going to make its uh, reappearance, which everybody has been waiting for. And um, although I just did a video, and it may seem like that video is not that important, I still urge you to go back to watch the video that I did just before this, because in that video, I go more into depth of what I feel about a lot of the fandom out there. Uh, and how the fandom isn't really accepting of this as, as 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 nicely as I would think they should, and as gratefully as I think they should. Um, so that other video will stand, and um, I'll just recap a little of that. I don't know why there are some fans out there that are feeling big deal. I don't really care about this so much. Uh, you know, I will say better late than never because it's been a heck of a long time. It's uh, anticlimactic. Uh, to finally get this, but I, for one, am happy. I've always felt that the 1970 original Michael Lindsay Hogg version, theatrical version, of Let It Be should be seen, okay? It is definitely a downer of a film uh, with, this, with some upbeat moments, but compared to Peter Jackson's, you know, uh, several hours long uh, <laughs> Get Back project, it definitely is not as... Uh, upbeat as that one so you get a good contrast i urge people to see it and i urge people fans to have patience you know we'll get you know people are saying where's rubber soul why don't we get rubber soul instead why this we already have to get back what's the point why do we have to get this now who cares you know after they'd waited we've waited so many years and now people are like ah eh, who cares some people are meeting this with indifference some fans and I don't understand that, but check out my other video for more on that. One thing that I want to make clear is I am not really that excited about Disney Plus streaming. You know, uh, I'm a physical media collector. If you look around here, I like physical media. What I want to get is a DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, whatever you want to call it. I like to see a physical disc release of this from Disney Plus. And Disney Plus did put out Get Back. But pretty bare bones on, on uh, DVD uh, or Blu-ray with no real extra features or anything. I really hope Disney st steps up to the plate and at some point, not too long from, from now, I hope, uh, before the year is over, let's say, gives us a physical media copy. That's my only gripe. I'm, I'm glad this is finally coming out, let it be, but I am not going to be satisfied having to watch it on Disney Plus uh, I want to own it. I want to own, own it on an official disc. I've already got, we've all got copies of it, many copies of it. I want the real thing with an officially sanctioned disc, physical media release. That's what I want. So uh, I'm glad this is happening. For you fans out there that are being Debbie Downers about it and saying, uh, I don't really care. We already got Get Back. When are we going to get these other things? There's so many more concerts they could put out. There's so many new things they could put out. Why are they wasting our time with this? Just please, please try to be grateful for what we're getting. And it doesn't mean that just because we're getting Let It Be in May means we're not going to ever get these other things too at some point. You know, it's not one or the other. It can be a little bit of everything. So come on, cheer up. Anyway, good news today, uh, finally, let it be, and this means that I can really retire, in a way, my magnetic videotape that I got in, like, 1981, the VHS <laughs> cassette, if anybody remembers video cassettes, I can actually retire it, although I'm not going to really retire it, it's a kind of a nostalgic collector's item, that tape, and uh, it's a reminder of the very first video cassette home video piece of anything that I ever owned. <laughs> it was my first. All right, everybody. Cheers. Just wanted to give you the heads up.